All right, less than 24 hours before I leave to go to the cruise port, and I haven't completed any of my pre-cruise rituals, but, but do you know what they are? This video, this episode, six pre-cruise rituals that I do, uh, do you do them too? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lida Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with my six pre-cruise rituals. And look, the first one's got to be super obvious. Uh, you know, before every cruise, we well, we rent a car. That's right. It, you, you thought it was going to be that. No, we rent a car. Uh, we're still only down to one car. And for this cruise, we have to go to Fort Lauderdale. And we're getting on a, a ship in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to end up in Los Angeles. So we only need a one-way rental. And the cool thing about Fort Lauderdale and Miami, uh, there's a car drop-off right near the cruise port. So we, we've got this uh, Toyota 4Runner, very spacious, uh, looking forward to the drive to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. Pre-cruise ritual number one for us, it seems to be uh, we, we always rent a car. Now, pre-cruise ritual number two, that's the haircut. Yeah, I just got my haircut there at Supercuts, and uh, I mean, I don't have much hair left to work with, so I don't have to go to any fancy salon, uh, but uh, yeah, my $19 haircut, uh, of course, with a tip, it's pre-cruise ritual number two. Locked out of my own house. Yeah. One car, one house key. Don't judge me. I guess I could get an extra house key. Oh. Hello? Hello. Here we go. We're getting in. All right. Oh. Doesn't matter how many clothes I already seem to have. I always got to get some new clothes. So uh, a couple new pairs of shorts. And look. I'm going V-neck with different colors. Look, that's not black, folks. Well, okay, there's a black one, but still. Yeah, a couple pairs of shorts, four V-neck t-shirts. Cruise ritual number three, clothes shopping. Now, pre-cruise ritual number four, uh, not that surprising. Look, every new cruising experience, well, it needs, it needs new gear. Let, let me tell you about some of the new gear. Okay, so this is... This is a 10 to 18 millimeter wide zoom f.4 aperture. Uh, really a smaller lens than what I currently have on my Sony a7C. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna use this for some run and gun vlogging. There's stabilization in the lens. There's stabilization in my camera body. So this, this could be the next evolution of a run and gun video for me. And so, yeah, I picked up this lens. All this stuff I picked up off of Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, and uh, those are affiliate links. So if you click the link, uh, you're helping the channel. How about that? I can't wait to use this. I'm still shooting the daily videos with the 20 millimeter 1.8 so I can get that nice background blur. But uh, man, even my phone here is getting a nice background blur. That's one thing. I didn't purchase this camera specifically for this trip, but this is the 360 camera that I've been using, and this is the uh, selfie stick that I've been using, and that's why it's invisible. This camera recognizes the selfie stick, the software does, and it knows to take it out of the shot. Uh, if you've enjoyed those 360 shots, that's what I've been getting with that. But I've had the camera actually since January, and I just started learning how to use it, which I like, but I did have to get some gear for the camera because now that I'm learning to use it, I, I wanted some more batteries. And so I got uh, a battery charger and two batteries for the Insta 361. Uh, these are the batteries. Off brand, uh, also purchased on Amazon. And I know that I have a ton of GoPro accessories. And so I got these connectors so that I can connect these to the 360 camera and then they can connect to GoPro mounts. And then this is an interesting mount. I tried it on, it's super tight. It goes around your neck, but you can hook a GoPro. So I can hook this camera here around my neck and get a 180 shot hands-free. And look, who knows if I'll do all of that, but that's the plan. And it's always good to gear up before your cruise. And I always forget something. I need an ND filter for that new lens. 
and I don't have enough time to get it delivered to the house. So I'm going to an Amazon robot tomorrow in Fort Lauderdale or Wednesday, depending when it gets there before the cruise to pick up an ND filter. I love the, Am no, it's, it's a counter. It's not even a robot. This I've never been where there's an Amazon counter. Maybe I'll have to show you guys that, but yeah, pre-cruise Ritz roll number four, gear up. Now I'm outside. That's our pool uh, robot. Let me let me show you this. Hold on. I never saw one of these things until I moved to Florida. It's automagic cleaning the pool. How about that? But my pre-cruise ritual number five is a mani pedi. Jenny, are you getting a mani pedi today? Yes. Jenny's getting an official mani pedi. I, I'm not. I'm not that. Uh, I guess I don't rank or something. Let me show you how I get. Okay, the pedi is going to come from Jenny. Are you excited to pedi my feet later? Absolutely. <laughs> I love the fake enthusiasm. And then this is where I get my, this is where I get my manicure. Right over this sink right here. This is where the magic happens. I always trim my nails before I cruise. That's my pre-cruise ritual. Number five. Number five. Look, I got to take a break in the video right now to take care of some important important business and the important business is to invite you to subscribe if you're brand new here or if you've been here for a while if you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising oh toilet paper can you still see that i'm not in the bathroom cruising it's still there please consider subscribing with the notification bell on that way you don't miss out on any of these episodes and now let me tell you about uh, the, the most essential pre-cruise ritual right now in 2022. I feel a little dehydrated. I wasn't going to the bathroom. Calm down. Calm down. It's important to stay hydrated during your pre-cruise rituals. Am I right? Am I right? Ooh. Filtered H2O. <sighs> All right. Uh, the essential pre-cruise ritual right now here in 2022, and it's all of our ritual, COVID test. That's right. Uh, not that we want to do it, but uh, you got to do it for cruising right now. Look, if, if you want to see me do one of these COVID tests uh, all the way, I make a huge mistake in it. Uh, make sure that you watch this video next. Those are my six pre-cruise rituals. What are yours? Leave a comment below. Tony for La Lida Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the lead up.